back on the barn door kick. Uh, got a request for a barn door three by seven, which isn't too big. Um, I've built some bigger ones in the past. I really don't like to build them too big because of my shop space. So um, from here I got the tongue and groove I'm using for the uh, door itself. Um, then I've got the pieces that are cut. These are the sides. And then being that my shop space is so small, I have to go to the outside. This is what I call my outdoor shop, which is actually my carport. But anyway, um, there's some more of the main door there. Uh, there's some pieces. These are going to be the pieces that go along the top and along the middle and the bottom. Then I got to cut the X design in it. All right, so I built the frame first, three by seven, um, with my one by fours and one by sixes. Next, I'll build the actual door itself, and then I'll lay the frame on top of it and put it together that way. All right, down my knees here, fixing to assemble the main part of the door with the tongue and groove boards. Um, piece them all together, stick a little glue between them, hold them better a little bit. This is my security camera, so that's why it looks so funny. Um, something coming up above. But um, I'll do each board like this and basically snap them together. All right, a little bit more here. I've got uh, most of the door section. I got about four or five more pieces to snap together. But like I said, it's tongue and groove, so it just slides into the grooves. And then uh, uh, the bracket, the uh, frame itself, will hold it together and a little bit of glue. And here's the frame um, put on top of the door itself now. So I'll brad nail it down. I've got glue on the other side of it, but I'll brad nail it down and uh, put some screws in them, countersink them, and then I'll fill them with uh, putty so they won't be seen once I stain it. All right, you got the door built. I've got the one by threes and one by sixes fastened in place. Got the holes puttied up the way the screw holes are right and the nail holes. So now I'm gonna stain this thing in espresso stain. I put the uh, Minwax pre-stain on it. And, and here's a final shot of the door.